All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the driver's side notch. And we already got the passenger side roughed in, so I'll show you all the before and afters. But basically this is just a three inch bolt on C notch. You can bolt or weld it on. I already got the bump stop cut out. It was pretty rusted. And so for starters, uh, you could remove, if you have your uh, vent here, you can remove this and then um, you're going to want to locate the center hole here, which is axle center line. Your bump stop is actually about three inches in front. So what we're going to do for the notch is actually come an inch and a quarter in front of the center line. doesn't have to be perfect but that should give us enough um, for my four link and some four links that bolt to the the lower leaf perch when it when this comes up the the rear is actually gonna or the frames actually gonna go forward and so you want to have enough room for that whole unit to kind of nest right under this space here so once you do that I'm gonna set the camera down. Um, there's basically like a line right in the frame right here. So it's a good reference point. We're gonna come off of that down three quarters of an inch. And then on the notch, actually have the center line marked on the back part right here. But on the front, there's actually a little notch right there. So what you'll do is once you get that mark, we'll move this down and then we'll trace it. So here we're gonna go three quarters of an inch. And then there's our center. And then we line up the notch. Now, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you really want, you can put a level on it. Bring it to the front like this. Not on top of here, because this 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 part's not level, but put the level right like that. Now, center it up. Get it level best you can. Don't have to be perfect. And then use your soap stone. Soap stone works good. Or marker. And then trace it out. Okay. So I'm actually going to cut it with the Hypertherm XP30. You could use any cheap plasma cutter or a cutoff cutoff wheel works good the one thing to watch out for is you know you can clean this up better or you can just try to blast through it with the plasma it's going to get kind of messy uh, but what we'll do is i'm going to show you there's two ways you could do this one would be if you want to utilize the bottom of the frame to come up, that's why I have these two notches here. That frame you could have overlap up here or anywhere in this area and you can bolt the frame to this if you want to bolt everything together or you could weld it or you can just cut the frame pretty much just butt weld it to this. I'm gonna show you the overlapping method that's kind of a little more tricky on explaining through uh, instructions on paper or whatnot. So basically uh, what, what we'll do is we'll actually make a mark like a triangle down here and then we'll actually cut this triangle out like this okay 
And then I'll, I'll have pictures of this too. And we'll cut this out like that. And then once we, once we cut those out, you'll see where we're at and then see how we're gonna leave on the bottom portion here. So basically we'll cut in the back, we'll follow this line all the way back. And then same with this one, we'll follow this line all the way back. And then we'll be left with this frame. But like I said, this is gonna need cleaned up. So it's probably best to take the cutoff wheel and clean that up and I'll show you that process. All right, so, all right, so this got a little bit hung up on this bracket here, so I'm gonna get it from the back side. So, kind of hard to see with these Shade 5 glasses that like to fog up, but we'll clean this up a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on the bottom here and the bottom here, and then this, this whole piece will just drop out and see how we're left with this whole portion of the frame there and there. And we'll have to get rid of the, uh, well... We'll see if we can bend that up, but we're probably going to have to cut this right there. But it's really, I guess, not much use in reusing this bracket for the brake. So, all right. Actually, I'm going to try to come at this from the top. All right, I got this pretty cleaned up. Took a little longer than I wanted. 
the biggest fuss is gonna be where this bracket was for the bump stop. It's uh, doubled up there. That was kind of annoying. And then also on the the driver's side is gonna actually be more fuss than the driver or the passenger side. The passenger side went pretty smooth. Um, the uh, brake line bracket here came up and attached to the frame here. And so I cut all that out. So ideally in a perfect world, you'd wanna, you know, blast the frame or blast all back in here, but that's not what I got going on. So it's, it's hard to get in all these nook and crannies, but uh, I got pretty decent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pound these up and then we're gonna test fit the notch and then hopefully we don't have too much trimming to do. So what I actually did was I trimmed the, the edge of this a little bit and it, sometimes when you pound this up it's going to want to pucker right here. So just take your cutoff wheel and come right down there, clean that up, open that up a little bit then you can pound it up if you need to. And right here too, uh, got a little bit sticking out there so I'll pound that up and then We'll test fit actually right now. Looks pretty good. So you can see our center line. What I did with the cutoff wheel is I notched the center line so I wouldn't lose it. We'll line that up. And it's looking pretty good. We could probably tweak it a little more if we wanted. On the passenger side, I, I have all the holes line up so if you're bolting it in it's going to be more critical you want ideally all your holes to line up which would mean this has to go up more and then you want to find find your sweet spot uh, the other side I, I will post measurements on that in the instructions too or post them up after this video so what I did was I came off the bed bracket. Hopefully you have that. If not, I'll get another reference mark. Come off that to say an edge there, an edge there. Um, but for starters, that bracket to this end of this notch is about 12 inches. So as long as you're in the ballpark, we're gonna be good. I'm gonna weld these in. So I just wanted to show you pretty much how to fit fit these up actually let's look on the inside so then what then what we'll do is we'll clamp see there's a gap there we'll clamp that back down little gap there we'll clamp that down but like I said if you're dr drilling and bolting this in that'll be perfect you just drill right up through there and bolt that to that I'll show you the finished finished product when we're done, but this is the passenger side. And you can see I got all the holes. All right, so here we got the weld through primer on. Got it on the back side of this, just everywhere I could and got it all fitted up clamped up if you wanted to bolt it in you could because all the holes are lining up nice uh tapped it good all the way here to get it as far up as i can and then i got it obviously clamped the back side what i'll do is once i get it tacked i'll um come in and and suck this back down and then tack that up weld it all up so I'm going to fire up the welder, get that tacked in, and then probably in another shot, uh, I'll do the final welding. <laughs> 